Yellow Productions presents the Kotohiragu Shrine in Kotohiragu, Japan. I'm Chris. I'm Tuffy. I'm Uji. And today we're going to be showing you this amazing shrine and the amazing hike that it is to get up to the top. From the bottom to the top of the shrine, it is 1,368 stone steps. And it is said this shrine has one of the most difficult approaches of any in Japan. Tofer Ushi, are you guys ready? Are you ready? Let's go! Let's go! Hey Tofer, hey Ushi, how's the walk so far? If you find yourself climbing up the steps and tired, I've got good news for you. If you've got the money, you can hire two strong men to carry you on the stairs just like they did in the old days in a sedan chair. For the young or old, hanging out at the bottom of the staircase is where you'll find these guys if you're so inclined to take the ride up. The initial approach is full of shops selling souvenirs, restaurants serving sanuki udon, and vending machines. And you know, vending machines are good business to be in when you're located along a staircase that people climb and get really, really tired. This shop has closed in favor of putting three vending machines in front. Half of this store has been converted into a vending machine corner. Now that's a lot of vending machines for a lot of thirsty people. The shops and vending machines end at about step 365, about right here. So before you head in through the main gate, make sure you get any beverages you want for the remaining 1,000 steps. Trust me, you're gonna need them. Passing through the main Uman gate at the 365th step were one, two, three, four, five vendors all selling the same type of candy. They have helpful maps as you go up the staircase and tell you how many steps you've reached at a certain point. So we are currently at step 595. The main shrine building is at step 785. This is where most visitors make it to. Beyond the main shrine building, it's another, you know, 500 and some on steps to reach that 1,368 to the inner shrine. It's another 45 minutes past the main shrine to the inner shrine. And if you're too lazy to make it to the inner shrine, there's a little picture that shows you right there. Once you've passed the section with the shops, it's exclusive advertising for the shrine gifts. Right there, you can get the doggy in a set with the yellow charm. At the top, I'm sure. There's also a statue of this dog with a story that's very interesting. Back in old days, residents from Tokyo that could not make the visit as far as Shikoku would put money around their dog's neck, send it with another pilgrim, and then to show the dog had made it to the shrine, it would return with an amulet from the shrine around its neck. Just to the left of the dog statue was a stable with a couple of real horses. And further up the staircase was a statue of a not-so-real horse, but with some real pretty cherry blossoms. Come on, Topher! Come on, Ushi! We're only step 600! Just 700 more to go! The final ascent to the main shrine is steep, but once you make it to the top and you catch your breath, uh, I think Topher and Ushi, they took a rest in my bag to catch their breath. Once you catch your breath, then you can head that way and admire some excellent views and head that way and admire the main shrine building. This is that viewpoint over to the left with some spectacular views of the town of Kotohira, some 700 steps down below. This is the main Kampira shrine dedicated to fishermen and seafarers. Another interesting tidbit, this big tree next to the main shrine is 400 years old. And I was correct, there is a gift shop at the top next to it. After the main shrine, the ascent becomes more of a wooded path. And you'll also leave most of the stair climbers behind. Because most people don't make it past the main shrine. Along the upper path, there are additional buildings. Though these are generally smaller in nature. Though there are still some good staircase sections in this section. Good to really get you out of breath, as you can tell, I am now. And after 1,368 steps, here it is, the main shrine. And after admiring the shrine and paying your respects at the top, it's time to do it all in reverse, on the way down. Thankfully, down is much easier than up. So if your travels take you to Shikoku, Japan, and you really enjoy stair climbing, check out this shrine. You will certainly enjoy it. Thanks for watching. Click here to subscribe. You 
might be interested in some of these other videos. Click any of them to watch. In the upper left is my video on renting bicycles in Takamatsu. And in the upper right is a video review of the JR Hotel Clement Takamatsu.